we want to determine the relative extrema for the given polynomial function on the t84. Let's begin by entering the function. We press y equals and enter 2x raised to the power of 3, right arrow, minus 33x squared, plus 144x, plus 8, and enter. We normally begin by graphing using the standard window. So let's do this. Let's press zoom 6 for the standard window. We can quickly see this is not a good viewing window because we cannot see the high and low points of the polynomial function. So the most challenging part about this question is adjusting the viewing window so we get a nice view of the polynomial function. To help us know how to adjust the window, let's use the table. Let's first go to table set by pressing second window. Let's have the table start at negative five, enter. And we have the change in the table by ones, which is good. And the independent and dependent variables are set on automatic. All this looks good. Let's press second graph for the table. Notice in the X column, as we scroll down, X increases by one. And now let's analyze the Y column. Notice as X increases, y also increases until we reach x equals four. Notice at x equals three, we have a y value of 197. Then at x equals four, we have a y value of 184. So if we focus on the interval from x equals two to x equals four, notice how the y values increase and then decrease, which means the function changes from increasing to decreasing, and therefore we have a high point in the interval from x equals two to x equals four. And if we scroll down further, notice on the interval from x equals seven to x equals nine, the y values decrease and then change to increasing, which means the function changes from decreasing to increasing, and therefore we have a relative minimum in the interval from x equals seven to x equals nine. So let's adjust the x-axis to include all of these x values Let's have the x-axis go from negative three to positive 15. And then for the y-axis, we want the y-axis to contain all of these y values, but it's also nice to see the origin. Notice how the largest y value here is approximately 200. Let's have the y-axis go from negative 300 to positive 300. So we'll press window, change the x-min to negative three, enter, x-max to positive 15, enter. The x scale is one, which is good, enter. Let's change the y min to negative 300, enter. Y max to positive 300, enter. And let's have the y scale be 50, which means we have a tick mark every 50 units on the y axis. Now this is not exact. If this does not look good, we just come back and change it again. Let's press graph. And notice now we have a much better view of the polynomial function. We have a high point here, which represents the relative or local maximum. And we have a low point here, which represents the relative or local minimum. Let's begin by determining the local minimum. To do this, we press second trace for the calculation menu, select three for minimum. It's asking for the left bound. We need to place the cursor to the left of this low point. It is to the left, but let's move closer by pressing the right arrow, let's say approximately here, press enter. For the right bound, we move to the right side of the low point, let's say approximately here, enter. Notice how it's asking us to guess, so let's move the cursor closer to the low point, approximately here, press enter. The ordered pair for this point shows below, we need to recognize this ordered pair as eight comma 72. Notice how the calculator is only giving us an approximation of this x value, which is very, very close to eight. So the ordered pair is eight comma 72. Let's record this in our work. Remember the x value is a location and the y value or function value is the actual local minimum value. So now we know the function has a local minimum at x equals eight with an output or function value of 72. And now let's determine the local maximum. We press second trace for the calculation menu and now select option four. For the left bound, we need to move the cursor to the left of this high point 
we can press the left arrow or hold it down and it will scroll. We're now to the left side of the high point. We press enter for the right bow. We move to the right approximately here. Enter for the guest. We move closer and press enter. And again, we need to recognize the ordered pair for this point is three comma 197. which means the function has a local maximum at x equals 3, and the local maximum is the output or function value of 197. I hope you found this helpful.